In order to compete with Tesla, the widely recognized industry leader in electric vehicles, Toyota is aiming high and attempting to change the future of the automotive industry through powerful new technological advancements. The Japanese automaker revealed a comprehensive strategy on June 13 that includes a revamp of its operations as well as a thorough description of how the business intends to tackle EV batteries. The statement was made just one day before Toyota's annual shareholder meeting. In an effort to establish itself as a world leader in battery EV energy consumption, Toyota detailed plans for its next-generation batteries, which it said will achieve a vehicle cruising range of 1,000 km 621 miles. On the other hand, the range of the Tesla Model Y is approximately 530 km. These batteries of the future will be launched in 2026. In order to increase cruising range, Toyota says that in addition to reducing weight, it is striving to improve aerodynamics. With its new, next-generation batteries, the business is also reducing costs by 20% compared to the current BZ4X and achieving a quick charge time of 20 minutes or less. The automaker also bragged about a technological breakthrough in its work on solid-state batteries, a pricier option that can store more energy and, thus, offer longer range than its lithium-ion counterparts. Solid-state batteries are anticipated to become commercially accessible in 2027 or 2028, according to Toyota, and they will enable vehicles with a range of about 1,200 km and short charging times of less than 10 minutes. The business did not specify how much its new plans would cost. Following the news, Toyota's shares increased by more than 6%. And let's get into detail. Despite the fact that there is a lot to talk about, let's start with the company's next generation of electric vehicles, which will begin to appear in 2026. According to Toyota, they'll be much more sophisticated than current models and come with vastly upgraded batteries. Toyota intends to provide a range of various battery packs, enabling the company to provide both inexpensive EVs and ones with superior capacities. A bipolar lithium iron phosphate Tela P battery, which the business claims to be good and low cost will be its mass market product. The company stated that they are aiming for a 20% increase in cruising range, a 40% reduction in cost, and quick recharging in 30 minutes or less compared to the current BZ4X. Those would be welcome improvements as the BZ4X starts at $42,000 and has a range of up to 252 miles 406 kilometers. A performance battery that will have a cruising range of 1,000 kilometers 621 miles is also being developed by the business. By doing so, range anxiety should be a thing of the past, according to Toyota, which also claimed that the long range would be made possible by vehicle efficiencies, such as vehicle aerodynamics and weight reduction. As the battery is a significant factor, those are merely a portion of the puzzle. Toyota didn't provide a lot of information, however the battery will be square and have a higher energy density. The battery will be 20% less expensive than the one in the BZ4X, and it will be able to charge from 10% to 80% in 20 minutes or less, according to the company. Toyota is also developing a high-performance bipolar lithium-ion battery as if those options weren't enough. It is expected to debut in 2027 or 2028 and expand on the advantages of the performance battery as a whole. Toyota specifically stated that we can anticipate a 10% cost reduction as well as an extra 10% improvement in range. In addition to conventional batteries, Toyota plans to have solid-state batteries available for purchase in 2027 or 2028. According to the business, the solid-state battery will have a range that is 20% longer than the performance battery, or 1,200 miles 746 kilometers. The battery would also enable vehicles to charge from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes or less, which is comparable to how quickly an ice-powered vehicle can refuel. If that weren't remarkable enough, Toyota said that they are already developing a solid-state battery with a higher level specification that will have a range that is 50% more than the performance battery, or a stunning 1,500 km 932 miles. In addition to concentrating on batteries, Toyota is working on aerodynamic drag reduction technology based on rocket hypersonic aerodynamics, the company said. By being able to reduce aerodynamic drag without being restricted by the shape of the car, it is expected to combine an attractive design packaging with aerodynamic performance. 
Toyota is also rethinking how they construct automobiles and wants to use mega casting and a self-propelling assembly line, which would do away with the need for pricey conveyors because automobiles would proceed themselves down the assembly line once they reach a particular stage. A smaller rear axle is also something Toyota is working to add to its cars. With improved load capacity and aerodynamics, this should extend the range. The flexibility and efficiency of engineering are other areas where work is being done. A Crown EV prototype was displayed by the business in relation to the latter. On the other hand, industry insiders disagree on Tesla's new method of building cars. When Tesla introduced its new vehicle assembly method in March, it immediately generated interest and sparked a discussion among those who specialize in the auto industry about whether Elon Musk's so-called unboxed approach is radical, revisionist, derivative, or all of the above. Musk thinks that in order to produce more affordable and profitable electric vehicles in greater quantities, the company must fundamentally rethink traditional production techniques. The most valuable manufacturer in the world, Tesla, has been anticipated by investors for the release of what is thought to be the holy grail of the business, an electric car under $30,000. The cheapest Tesla currently starts at around $40,000 in price. Tesla wants to be able to reach that high pricing point, thus they are using an unboxed assembly method. One expert called the procedure revolutionary, with the ability to displace the moving assembly line that has long been a staple of the auto industry. Others questioned if a procedure that uses tried and true methods, like modular assembly, can help to significantly cut production costs. When the new procedure was unveiled at Tesla's Investor Day on March 1, executives claimed it would make the company's upcoming vehicles significantly simpler and more affordable. According to officials, the unboxing procedure might shrink the factory's size by 40% and cut manufacturing expenses in half. According to the business, the goal is to build more vehicles at a lower cost. When the system is deployed in late 2024 at Tesla's planned $5 billion facility in Monterey, Mexico, where the firm wants to create a new generation of sub-$30,000 EVs, the combination of new approaches won't be completely proven. What kind of an influence will Tesla's method have on the whole auto industry is just one of several significant concerns that loom. Will it make the widely imitated Toyota production system obsolete? In addition, given Tesla's history of misproduction targets and unsuccessful attempts to implement unproven technology, can Musk genuinely make his company's process function as promised? Martin French, managing director at consultancy firm Barrils, which focuses on the industry's quick transition to electric and smart transportation, questioned whether Tesla's move may displace decades-old lean production techniques invented by sector leader Toyota Motor Corp. French added, When I watched the Tesla presentation, I had the impression that the manual for the Toyota production system had just been shot down with a machine gun. Jan Hillip Buckler, a German researcher from the Free University of Dortmund, calls the new Tesla technique revolutionary, adding, This is considerably more than modular production. Standard stages are being eliminated, new working patterns are being developed, speed is being increased, and complexity is being decreased. The system's enormous front and rear subassemblies, which are attached to a central structural battery pack by single-piece underbody castings, are one of the many components that Tesla is still evaluating. When the assembly is complete, the body panels are assembled after being painted separately. Having said that, do you think the very well-known Toyota way is over? Now that Toyota is planning to adopt the Tesla way? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.